yes. Talk about the different ways to add a parenthesis. It's uh, giving a string expression of number and operator. So you have to return all the possible results from computing all the different possible weight of the proof. And then you want to return the answer. And this is the idea, right? So 2 minus 1 minus 1. And if you add a parenthesis, you will get this one, right? And if you add another parenthesis, you will get this one, right? And this is pretty much the possible outcome for 2 min minus 1 minus 1. And then for 2 times 3 minus 4 times 5, right? You, you will get 5 different possible ways to do this. And in this question, so uh, we are actually need to, need to use a recursion solution. So when we see the plus, when we see the minus, and when we see the multiplication, then we just have to split the string for the left and right, and then until uh, until the integer. So if there is a simple, like it's either plus minus or multiplication, we just keep splitting. And then if the base case is the integer, right? If the base case is the integer, then we just convert the string, string to integer, right? So uh, the, the expression is string, right? So we have to convert to integer, integer, and then we will just add to the what? Add to the expression. So we'll just do the math, right? And this is pretty much it, right? So let me start doing this. So uh, you want to use a, a hash map to store the possible outcome because you will get uh, the duplicate uh, a duplicate substring when you traversing, right? So I will have a sub, uh, hash map using the string for the key and then list of integer for the what? For the value, right? I'm going to call map, new hash map. Right. Now uh, I need to I need to traverse. So before I traverse, I need to create a list of integers. So it's going to be a real list. So now I'm going to traverse i equal to zero. I less an expression, expression talent, and then i plus plus. Right. So I have to create a char c. So I'm going to determine whether or not the current char in this expression is either plus minus or multiplication right so i will say expression expression dot char at ai so if c equal to what if c equal to plus c equal to minus or c equal to multiplication i will do the following create the left side of the expression and right side of the expression right so base of integer left equal to uh equal to uh, different ways and then I need to create an expression substring right substring this is going to be what this is going to be 0 to what to i right and then comma right equal to what different way expression a substring a i plus 1 right anything after i right so now I will get what uh, so when, or once I keep, uh, keep splitting, right, uh, the base case is going to be the integer, right? So uh, this is not the base case. The base case is right over here. So uh, after I traverse, so if the, if the result, uh, uh, the list of integer is empty, so I know this is the integer substring, integer expression. So I will just say result add integer dot parse in and I will just parse in parse the expression right and then I will just put that into my map right so I know the current integer is going to be represent what uh, represent uh, represent this string right so this is going to be what expression comma and then result right so I'm adding the result to the integer and at the end I will just return result right so now I haven't done any multiplication or addition and subtraction, right? So I'm going to traverse the left and right. So in picture left or in picture R right. So if what? If C equal to if C equal to plus, this is going to be result of at L plus R, right? I'll say C equal to minus. Result at L minus R. I'll see C equal to multiplication. Result at L times R. Right? So this is the 
this is the three different way of the operate operator, right? So result uh, is empty. We'll convert the current integer into I mean current string into integer, right? And then I will have to do the multiplication, uh, subtraction and addition later on. So uh, at the end you will get twenty in this case. So two times parentheses three minus twenty, right? So three minus twenty is seventeen, right? So you get seventeen and seventeen times two. I mean the negative seventeen. All right, so this is look. Uh, this look pretty good, but the problem is you, when you use a hash map, you you need to check do I ever traverse this substring before. So if the map contains the expression, if I do, then I will just return what I have, right? And this is pretty much it. So let me start running. Yes. All right. So let's talk about the time and space. So for the space, this is going to be what? This is going to be all of one, right? For every single recursion solution, you will create another uh, space. Left and right, okay, left is what? Uh, all, all of L, right? And the right is all of R. But all of L plus all of R is actually all of N, right? And we, all, we already know we have all of both N already. And this is like uh, n, n square, right? So n square for the space and then for time, this is all of n. And this is going to be all of n as well because the left and right um, number is, is inside the expression, right? So for the time and space are n square. And this is the solution. And the idea is using the memorization recursion. So this is a uh, at the end of the video, so if you feel helpful, subscribe, like, and I will see you next time. Bye.